welcoming everyone into the latest edition of the USFL podcast player interview series, bringing you the latest, not only from players, but of course, from personalities and also folks from around the United States football league. Uh, today, we do have an interview, of course, with a player, one that I, I would say is, uh, you know, made his mark on football history as of this past week. Uh, I would say it was, uh, you could put as the leading reason that the Philadelphia stars are two and three, he'll say otherwise, but I'll put it out there that, you know, when you put up 24 points on your own, you kind of got to get that recognition. Uh, he is place kicker for the Philadelphia Stars, Luis Aguilar himself, joining on the show. Uh, Luis, welcome to the program. Uh, congrats on your uh, historic weekend. Uh, seriously, eight eight field goals. That is, uh, you know, like I said, we had to start checking the checking the history books once we got past like six because I, I got <laughs> curious. I got curious through the third quarter. I'm like, uh, what pace are we on right now? That's hilarious. Yeah, I. Uh, it was funny because I remember week one. I was uh, one of the kickers from New Orleans. The New Orleans kicker went five for five, and set the tone already here for week one. <laughs> he went five for five and had the USFL record, I believe. And I was, I was like, I was like, holy cow! Like, you know, like that's huge. And then um, we kind of started off slow and. Um, wasn't the game any attempts and and then I was kind of like it was so weird because leading up to this week I was kind of like manifesting it like let's what if we could just end up getting a ton of field goals it's, it's just so <laughs> weird so the universe is a mysterious pl yeah. place that that is uh that is ironic <laughs> though uh I'll be honest with you it's funny you mentioned Matt Coughlin this is yours is the third time this year that the kicking record in the league in terms of the 80s overall record for the usfl since its iteration has existed has been either tied or broken chris blew it over in pittsburgh also tied matt Coughlin's record yeah, who also tied that. scart scart norwood's record from, yeah. from 1983 and now you have the eight um you did i actually did read up and i know you were asked this by fox news but i do want to ask as well during the game was did any of this kind of come into your head like i mean you got to get get some point realize okay i'm kicking a lot of field goals here uh maybe maybe i maybe i'm i'm just in the zone right now <laughs> um yeah so i i had known like i i had known about like the eight field goals in the game being like the record and like i've known about it like like years kicking like like oh like like you know just you know you know you just know fun facts right yeah and about it but in the game, um, it's so different in the game because, like, you know, adrenaline's going, and as a kicker, you kind of, you know, you kind of want to be a robot and be just a system kicker, you know, just take it one kick at a time, trust your snap hold, kick, and just let, let it go. So you, you're not really thinking about the kick before, and you're not thinking about the kick after you're thinking about the kick that's about to happen. And so after every kick, it's kind of like trying to – just worry about the next kick so like whatever happened previously was like just it's just i'm just not in my i'm not it's not in my head you know <laughs> right uh, and that's kind of like the way i approached that whole game and the way i've been trying to approach the whole season so far and i do that in practice you know i've been doing it for years where i kind of just tell myself one for one one for one after every kick <laughs> <laughs> yeah always go to the next one and consistency obviously this is a very yeah. cutthroat position in any level of football um so i mean you know having having accuracy and having the ability to be able to say i'm a, i'm an automatic three points every time i step on the field that that's massive for yourself and i imagine for your uh prospects if you are looking beyond the league the league here too not not saying that's far ahead you got the season ahead of course but you know we all think about it. We all hope for the best of players as they move up. But that's great for film for yourself. Just saying, well, uh, I'm that guy that kicked eight field goals in a game. I've been pretty consistent here. It's a cutthroat biz, but I do have that mark towards me. <laughs> yeah, correct. I mean, um, being here in this, you know, the USFL platform that we have um, to continue to, you know, do what we love is huge. Um I told myself though coming in to this season is I want to be more present and 
kind of just enjoy it more because I know last year I, I, I didn't enjoy it as much because I was so stressed and like so like 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 too like I, I guess I'd say I was like pressuring myself a little too much about you know what I got to do sure and I had a good I, had, I mean I had a good year um but coming into this year I told myself I want to enjoy it more um but still get my work done you know not think too ahead you know and mm. so being here it's, it's been it's been awesome great group of guys great snapper um rotated through five holders already i was gonna ask <laughs> I, so, I saw i saw someone brought that up that Devin gray did it this week and you're talking about a lot of new placeholders i mean just go through this for people i mean that's not I've, i haven't done it in my own capacity on the football field before but that does take something. You do have to be pretty precise, and you got to get down the speed and kind of com- at least getting what you need as a kicker to accurately hit the ball. You know, you know, no one wants the laces hitting your foot. You know, that's like that's like the worst nightmare for you is to have that that possible chance of it bouncing or ricocheting the wrong way off a lace. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I mean, I, I, have a, I have a really great long snapper, really great long snapper. So he makes the holder's job easy right um but my mindset is kind of like i'll do my job like like i'll just focus on my job i I, like the last thing i need to do is just like the hole is going to be there i just need to do my job right you just kind of trust my guy because at the end of the day when you kind of start like worrying about like how is he going to hold it you know right um, right no it's kind of like you stop you start worrying about things you can't control and you want to it should be obviously you you should just kind of focus on things you can control which is the way i'm going to approach that kick you know where my plan is going to be you know so the past five weeks i've been kind of telling myself i'm going to attack every kick and just whatever i get i'm going to just (laughs) push through just (laughs) just you know just power it through um Coach is doing a good job um, in practice, getting us reps, um, making sure that I don't go in there um, without any reps with with the guy I was holding for the week. Um, and Devin stepped up big time because it, mm-hmm. it was the first time he held in a game too. And I think we got two practices in with him and he caught on really quick. And like I said, I mean, like I have a really good long sniper. And then the, old, the guys up front blocking just – Worked their tails off. Oh <laughs> yeah, every team has been every team has been bringing pressure. Um, so yeah, this is a team team. effort. This is t- this is this is a whole team effort. So right, I mean, you you're not joking about the long snap position. That's something I can relate to. From that's a position I did, you know, for when I played football many a moon ago um, in high school. Uh, but you're mentioning Ryan Navarro as kind of the guy getting cre- credited here, and you know, yeah. hey, it does take that. That piece is is important because we're talking about, you know, you want the correct spin, easy to catch, and you want it to be able to not have any chance of dragging or going over the guy's head. If you have any, and, and I'm just, I'm speaking from my own experience, you know, any inconsistency, that, that, I mean, that is a mechanical process, almost like a manufacturing assembly plant line is how you want it. And like, like if from like the, the, the starting point, if it's not going smooth, it's kind of like, you're going to have like a bottleneck in the middle or like, you know, so Ryan makes it easy for, for the holder. Um, he's a true pro. He works at his crafts every day and he's awesome to be around with. And I live with him. So it's, it's cool that, you know, <laughs> that that's, that's some chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> You, although I will say uh, probably stuff that probably probably missed uh, miss snaps or things that that leaves the field maybe doesn't always leave the field like hey you got to go back home <laughs> and what happened to practice now <laughs> we'll talk about this later uh, for for yourself uh, the league actually just dropped a uh, one of their inside the drive segments of course you're you kick the game winning field goal have you watched any of that because I mean. I'll be honest with you, a lot of good audio. Uh, it's funny, Bart, Coach Andrus, when he's mentioning your kick, you know, at this point you've kicked seven, but the way he talks about it, he just, he, he just mentions it as, quote, kick a PAT, you Louie. <laughs> I, like I PAT. actually say that. I, in the game, I heard him say that. when Because they call timeout 
we so yeah i was lining up they call timeout and then i run back to the sideline while the field goal team is on the field just for the, I, I i reset all the time mm-hmm. so i have to reset go to the sideline take my sip of water i'm going back and he goes pick it like a pat <laughs> and I'm in my head i'm like yes sir <laughs> i didn't re- i didn't actually respond but it's just in my head i was just like yes sir oh sure which 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 is funny that he said that because i actually think like that i try to think like like a 50 yard or whatever it is like kick it like a pat because usually all my pats are you know like it's all mental but my pat kicks you know i feel like i hit them really good and if i just could just have that same mentality when kicking a 50 yarder usually you want to have the same kick exact same technique same ball flight whether it's 50 or a pat so it's funny you said that because i already already try to implement that in my routine <laughs> automatic automatic i i just like the extra context of it because i, I was wondering too was that when the video was posted you know like i said i you kind of just see if people are catching on, if it's just business as usual, which I mean, to some people, maybe you think that's the case, but you know, when it's, when you're on the field, it is, as you say, business as usual, just another, another snap, another repetition, you know, you, you nail it, you celebrate. And then as we heard in the locker room, of course, you know, go to overtime and maybe things are a bit different there that you get to decide (laughs) on your own terms, obviously. (laughs) Yeah. I don't even know overtime rules. Um, is it like college where like oh, do you, wait, do you not know the USFL overtime rules? I don't. Really? Oh wow. Okay. Um, I'll didn't expect this on my card today. Um, so basically it'd be a shootout. Uh, I think hockey. You know, each one ex- exchanges oh, an offensive I, possession and all that. Mm-hmm. Oh, so there's so there's no kicking. Uh I mean, I don't believe so. Yeah, it's offensive possession. So you would have basically seen case and case and company having yeah. to see if who plays better, him or Kyle Loletta slash DeAndre Johnson at that point. Good good to know. <laughs> I did not expect that. That that's fun. That is hilarious. <laughs> but there you go. Now you didn't have to you you learned in a different way. You get to celebrate and you can talk about it after the fact because yeah. that's the thing. But but you know, it still I find that hilarious. Uh, <laughs> nonetheless, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's that's good. That's real good. Um, <laughs> Luis, I gotta I gotta ask you here. Um, have you have you heard of the term "death by a thousand cuts" with this in this type of stuff? Because that's it's that's how I was going to lead in this show, and yeah. I didn't do that. But that's it's usually how a game goes if a kicker wins the game for you in terms of all that the scores are just kicks. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty surreal moment. St- it still really hasn't hit me. 24 points. Wild. It's, yeah, it's just, it's, it's absurd. I was talking to Ryan, my long snapper, today. Mm-hmm. I was like, like, eight for eight. Like, is that really, like, is that a lot? Like, like... <laughs> Like I like it genuinely, because in the game it didn't feel like that. It was that many, mm-hmm. but it's crazy how, like you think about it, it's basically two field goals a quarter. Yeah, pretty much. It's got two possessions apiece, and is all it is, and, you know. But again, you don't see that happen often enough, or you know, usually you at least get a touchdown snuck in there. That's what I was expecting for a bit. Yeah. But I guess that's what happens uh, for yourself too. I guess I'll add, I'll ask this while I add. I know I led you as a place kicker, but and you know you did mention this to me pre-show that you know some of the kicking situation for Philadelphia is changing this week. But I mean, as I've been seeing, you were doing you've been doing punts and a bunch of extra work on the side too. You know, multifaceted weapon, not just a place kicker as of late. Yeah. Um, so they they brought me in. With like mostly like 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 hey you're gonna be the kicker, um, we need you know we want you to score points, um, and then they wanted to save the roster spot, um, and so they were gonna have me punt because I have I I used to punt in college and I have a background punting and I 
I think I could do it pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think my spe like what I was really comfortable doing was the Aussies. Um, that's what that's like what what I oh, love. You, you like running Aussie. like kind of like the bootleg punts yeah. on the side at the 50 and like that's what I'm really comfortable doing. Um, but yeah, no, we just we just signed a uh Liam. Um I I don't want to mispronounce his last name. <laughs> but he's been around he's been around um the CFL and the NFL. Um really talented veteran kicker that just had his first practice today and he's going to be handling um punting and kickoffs. So um I the the goal for that was to lighten my load. Um so for just for longevity reasons so I was, I was cramping in the fourth quarter end of the third quarter my, where are my you now or which was usually like doesn't it's not really common for like both my quads to get sore but I, w I was getting a lot of reps in between kicks like against the net trying to you know, stay ready for punts or field goals and it was just one of those games where both my quads happened to get really sore and started cramping up well geez i mean i didn't even think about about that but i mean yeah you're talking about eight field goals plus again you got to do punt duty so you know and then kickoffs i think we and had then kickoffs nine kickoffs i think i kicked 20 times in the in the game that doesn't include like the warm-up it almost start. sounds like the equivalent of a pitcher throwing like well past 100 pitches for his inning count yeah, someone someone described it to me like that too. You're not the first time to say that analogy. Because that's how um, I'm thinking about. It. Like, if you're doing all three positions like that, eventually yeah. some muscle in your leg is going to give out. You know, it's. It, I would think like same goes for I think a like a QB. Like, say if Case was throwing like 50 passes a game, I'd be sitting here on the couch going, "How is that man still his shoulder? <laughs> how's his shoulder all right? You know, Gotta ice the shoulder. Right something after. giving that your head coach loves throwing the football." on yeah. a normal basis <laughs> yeah seriously oh yeah don't don't get me wrong i iced i iced um my legs you know sauna hot tub more ice just flushing out all the soreness and i mean i'm feeling I'm feeling better now but i think tomorrow i'll be better like way more fresh <laughs> What, before I let you go, Louise, and again, awesome job. Again, can't say enough. A lot of us, thank in the, you. A lot of us, not just in the US of all, but like I think the football community as a whole has been celebrating just seeing that your effort you put out there, obviously. Um, I, I want to get your take on this because I think Coach Andrews said it best, not only just for the stars, but as the league as a whole, and especially the North Division in your post game, in the post game, I would say pep talk he gave uh, is that, you know, everyone's two and three. Whole second season, we're basically zero zero ahead. Yep. Uh, how you guys? How does it feel? How's the team looking like they're approaching this so far? Zero zero. Everyone's zero zero. Um, it's kind of like it's it's like a fresh start, like in a good way. It allows us to like kind of like we're in, so since we're in the second half of the season, um, it's like blank slate. Okay, everyone's even in our division. Let's just go one and zero every single week, and you know we we hold our own destiny. You know, um, we've got a tough matchup this weekend, and that's the that's the only team we're worried about as of this moment. So tough kicking battle this weekend too, from what we applied <laughs> as well. <laughs> My boy Matt, yeah, <laughs> you were Matt great, going great, at great it. Great kicker, great kicker. <laughs> they also have a great long striper and punter. Um, I know, I know. Uh, I know they're specialists, so it'll be fun to see them in person and catch up after the game. But um, they're a great, great group of guys. So, well, Louise, I'm wishing you and the stars the best. Of course, uh, moving forward. Again, congrats on the accomplishment. That is uh, definitely nothing, nothing to slouch at. That is, that's remarkable to be a piece of football history right there. Um, best of luck this rest of the season, you know, and getting to focus in a little bit more on your kicking skills. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Forward.